Some authorities acknowledge or discuss a challenge here, which in American society, particularly around legal and law enforcement communities, is sometimes difficult to say. We don't have time for that here. I'm going to say it. We've seen authorities talk about the challenge of taking on active shooters who are armed for war and will be able to easily and swiftly kill any police who first come through the door. That's part of this reality. We covered the Buffalo massacre, which until this one was the largest mass shooting of the year. And I told you then, and I'll remind you tonight, what the Buffalo police said. They did say something accurate. They said they were outgunned by that single killer with weapons of war and body armor. And now we're seeing the evidence that some of these Texas officers were allegedly acting like they would do anything other than lean into a firefight this outgunned against these kind of legal weapons of war in America. Now, there's also evidence that some of these actions would violate their obligation and job duties and current policy. And we can get into that. That's a part of this. But others say this kind of response underscores why, wait for it, yes, let's talk about it, talking about policy and law and the danger to children. I'm not talking about politics. This is so much more important than politics. That's why a lot of people who study this and work on this full time in a lot of different countries say, if you don't want cops that scared of having to face off against someone armed like that, you have laws and rules where criminals can't get weapons of war that can outgun a whole group of officers.